I'm just going to kind of go through and then you guys can, you know, jump in and ask any questions that you have or anything like that as we kind of go along. But um, so uh, I'm going to just jump right here. So it's like how to set up the sound wall in the Val Valley. We're gonna, we'll talk about how to begin teaching with it, um, the anchor words and how to use them, and then like some review and practice. And, and <clears throat> you're going to have two different spaces for your sound wall and your Val Valley. And um, the sound wall, you're going to have the different categories. There's six of them. And this is what Mantras was talking about. There's um, stops, nasals, fricatives, a, a fricative, a, a fricates, and I spelled that wrong, um, glides and liquids. And so, um, and basically that's, those are just ways that it's like the articulation of how you say the different sounds and what your mouth is doing and what your teeth are doing and your tongue and um, all of those sort of things. So um, the way the sound wall is set up, and I can kind of flip here first, like here's the sample that I have from my sound wall um, if, you, if you want to use this one. And so we have the six different things. We have the stops, um, the affricates, the nasals, fricatives, glides, and liquids. And then lastly, we have our two sounds because X um, is actually a KS sound. K -s. Mm -hmm. And then the QU we know is KWA. So it's got the two sounds, KWA. So, um, so setting it up, the stops, we have um, the letters P, B, T, D, K, and G. And so those are going to be those really short um, sounds. So, you know, G and T. And they're just really quick. It's like a quick release of air. And so you can talk about that with your students when you're making these sounds, um, that the air is passing through their lips and teeth and their, their throat. Um, and then you're going to have some that are voiced and unvoiced. So here we have um, P and B. So we basically make them the same way. Our, our mouths are doing the same exact thing. Only one of them is going to be voiced. And if you if you put your fingers onto your throat, like the students can do that and they can feel that vibration for the B, 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 yeah, and B. You don't feel the vibration with the p sound. And so you can get your students doing that and so that they can kind of understand the voiced and the unvoiced. So the same thing with the T and the D, you're actually doing the same motion with your mouth. Um, and t, t, it's going to be the unvoiced and d, d. You're going to feel that d, d. And then um, same thing with the K and the G. So um, those are that, but that's a good way for the student to be able to tell is by putting their fingers there. And then the nasals, they like to do this one because um, we have m, mm, n, and ng. So mm -hmm. like all of the mm -hmm. ang, ing, ong, um, and they're continuous sounds, but the air is actually coming through the mm -hmm. nose, which you can't really tell when you're just doing it, when you're mm -hmm. like, mm, you don't really feel that mm -hmm. air coming through. But if you have the students plug their nose, they're not gonna be able to make that sound. Mm -mm. That's why so with my sinuses are bad. I was like, okay, this Vicky cannot make the letter M sound. I'm sorry. Yeah. Yeah. My mouth. But yeah. what my mouth is doing because I cannot make the sound. Yeah, so um, so that's a good way for them to be able to remember those those sounds too. Um the fricatives and these I you know, all these proper words kind of I don't, like I said, you know, you you talk about them with the students and everything, but I don't they don't need to know that, you know, fricatives. Oh, yeah. F, B, S, Z. Um, but we can refer to these ones as like hissing sounds. You know, you got the um, and then TH, you've got, you know, the in the um, and then there's ZH is another sound. And this is going to be like um, a zh sound like confusion. You know, you've got that zh zh sound in there. It's kind of like, so they're going to be those continuous sounds. Um, and you can produce them as long as you have enough air. So, you know, you've got shh, and you can keep doing that as long as you have enough air in you. So, um, but getting them to talk like the hissing sounds, they, they like that one. So. But those are all going to be grouped then together on your board. So you can see here the fricatives, they're all going to be kind of grouped together. And then so like the S and the Z are together too. So S and Z again. S, Z. And then F, 
v. They're they're also made the same way. F, v, f, v. You know your your top teeth are touching your bottom lip. Um, and so for the challenge, actually, I'm giving away a classroom set of um, student mirrors. And so then the students can um, watch themselves make the sounds when you're talking about them too. And that kind of can help them out. The A for kids, we got j and j just the two of them. So it's a burst, that burst of air. J j j j um, and then it's kind of softer as it goes out. And then we got the glides. So Y and W and WH. And um, a lot of people are talking now with the WH. This is kind of a dialect thing. And and depending on where you live. <laughs> and so like we've got, we've got uh, like around here, what and WH sound exactly the same. It's mm -hmm. what, what. But in some places it's more of a, I don't know. Do you know mantras how to like have they said anything to you about that? We just say like, Yeah. It's more like a I don't I don't even know how. Yeah. Well, that's just like the letter Y. Like, what <laughs> I'm trying to think of how I they have to think it. of a word like whistle. Whistle. What? It's more ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. Yeah. Anyway, it's a slight variation of W and really now most almost all places are going to have that, right? Just W and WH sound the same. So what um, sound you do for Y? Yeah. 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 Some programs yeah. is ye. Yeah. Really? Ye? So like you say, yellow, like ye. Yeah. Yellow. Yeah. Like yellow. Like, I was taught yeah. 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 But yeah. some programs says ye. Really? Huh. I always say yeah. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. So it's kind of hard. Yeah. 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 And the big it. thing with the sounds is um with any of the sounds, you want to try not to get to add that schwa sound to the That's end of it. it. So getting that uh sound, like you know, you don't want to go buh and you don't want to yeah. go wuh. You want buh, 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 and try to get them buh, 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 without doing buh. that uh sound at the end. Buh. Mm. Yeah. Buh, buh, buh. Huh. Yeah. Okay. And that goes for like, you know, you don't want to say it's ta ta. You know, it's t it's t t t t it's not duh duh. It's d d d. Like, okay. So yeah, I gotta work on that. Yeah, I was. I used to be really bad about that. Um, yeah. Adding that uh sound to everything. So. Yeah. So think about that when you're doing that with the students too, because then what they're doing is it's it's really another sound, right? You're going duh and it's duh. Uh. Yeah. And you don't want that extra sound because then when they hear that, they're gonna try to write that. Yeah, so that's true. If they're going duh og, duh. they're gonna think duh, you know, duh uh, og. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. Okay. Or you or yeah, like yeah. yeah. Um, so the glides, though, um, they can talk about the tongue because you think when you say yeah and Wuh, like your tongue isn't really touching anything mm -hmm. and the air is kind of going around it. So, yeah. And then the liquids we've got L and R. Um, L and R. So R. So, L -r. You can, so you can talk about how your tongue is on the top of your mouth and your lips and your teeth are apart with okay. that. And I'm going to, I'll have this slideshow, I'll have this video, and I'm, I made a PDF version of this slideshow. Oh, and perfect. so I'm going to put that into um, the comments and stuff from this video. So That'd be great. I'll print it off and then I'll have yeah. stuff to look at while I teach. Yeah. This is exactly what I wanted. Good, 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 good. All right. So here's, like I said, the sample of the sound wall. Now, pe other people, some people are kind of setting it up like this. Um where it's basically the same thing, but here you have all of your stops and then like it's telling you, you know, what is happening here. So, so, you know, your lips are together and then you, then, then they're opening up, you know, the tongue is on the ridge behind your teeth. So some, some people are set, setting up their sound walls this way. I think it saves more space um, too, which you could, you could totally do with the one that is included in here too. So if that's something that um, 
if you'd want to set it up that way instead of the other way. And then let's see. Let me go through here. All right, so the Val Valley. So here's what the Val Valley looks like. So you're going to want this on a separate, hopefully near, hopefully near. I know a lot of people don't have a whole lot of space on their walls. And in Montrose, you have one that's kind of portable, right? Yes, I have mine on the like the um, the kids do the science projects. Yeah, yeah. The, 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 the project boards or whatever. Yeah. yeah. So that's nice too, because then you can move it I, around. I still have one that's like posted big on a poster board. Oh, okay. I can move mm -hmm. to my small group if I have mm -hmm. to have it. I love that. That's awesome. That's a good idea. Yeah, I might have to share that idea in the group too, especially for um, like the small group reading, which is, you know, kind of what the membership is going to be more focused on. So those small group reading groups that you can have that right there. So um, with the Val Valley, so I know it, you know, it looks like a V, but they are placed this way and I'll kind of go here. Um, so they're organized by the position of your mouth. So it's going to start here with the long E. And if you think about E, you're like E. It's like you got a big open smile. E. Okay. And as you say these sounds, E, and then we have short I. So I. I. Long A. 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 Our mouth is starting to open up a little bit. A. 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 I. I. A. A. So you're... This bottom is where your mouth is going to be fully open. Ah, you know, opera. <laughs> um, and then when you climb back up, it's going to kind of go into like a little puckered position. So, um, so you have a, uh, uh, and then aw, uh, like uh, 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 oh, oh, uh, and then uh, like uh, 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 and then you for fruit, yeah. and then cube so fruit is like one sound for oot right and then and then you've got cube you got cube it's like a y u u sound so we have like unicorn and pew what makes so, that different i'm looking at the, wait i have a very slight difference <laughs> like um so it like the ooh, right? We've got so the long U. Okay, let's look at um like you've got uh let's see, we've got moon, right? So you've got moon, moon ooh. Mm -hmm. And then for the U, it's like you're saying that you're saying the y first. So cube. cube. But think about tube. Okay, here's tube. tube. Ooh. You're just saying ooh. T ooh. ooh. For cube, you're like cube with that slight Y sound in there beforehand. There's so so I know short and long, but I don't think I ever, I don't know if I ever really got the difference. Yeah. I don't know it's, if I've seen the difference between those two. Yeah, it's kind of, before. I mean, it's, yeah, it's kind of new with this. So is there like a rule for that? Um, well, it's going to have like all of the, um, it's going to have, all of the sounds, which are, let me see if I can, um, do this. Okay, yeah. I so not necessarily a rule, but you're going to have like all of the ways that it can say it. So like we have you for like unicorn, cube, so you silent E, um, EW, but those can also be over here. So if you see like um blue blue is just the ooh sound but if you do pew it's p u so i'm guessing actually now that i think about this um no, no you know what that's a good question because i'm wondering if there is a rule like where you've got like the certain letters or the certain sounds or you know what i mean um, yeah, like blend it's where it's, it's gonna, yeah. and it's probably with you know the way the word, um, the way the word was created in English is probably what it comes down to. So yeah. I'm gonna uh, let me I'm gonna write that down though because I'm curious. Rule for you and 
you. Now, I will be the first to tell you, I am not an expert on like all of the logistics of the English language and, and things. And um, so I'm kind of learning a lot of this along with you. Um, and I'm actually um, hiring somebody to kind of help me with that sort of thing where they're a little more knowledgeable on um, kind of some of that linguistic stuff of the, you know, the language and stuff. So. Mm -hmm. Do you uh, have the picture, the, like you see how you got the picture cards on the for A, do you have those already in the the thing or you made those yourself? In the membership? Yeah, like for acorn, cake, mall. Oh, yeah. like, they're all, yep, I made those, they're in the membership. Yep. Ouch. So then. Yeah. So then when you're, and we'll talk, well, actually we'll talk about those here, I think in just a minute. So, all right. So let's go to, um, the second one was beginning to teach, um, with the sound wall. So I just kind of had a few different tips. Um, I know Montres, you have yours pretty much set up, correct? Correct. Uh -huh. And you have like, um, sticky notes. sticky notes. Okay. Over top. So, yep, you can, so there's a couple options. You can either do that, have it all set up, which I think is, it's nice just because you know what space you have <laughs> and, mm -hmm. and what's going to fit. Um, but so you could do that and just cover up the things you haven't learned yet, or you can go ahead and build it um, as you're learning the different sounds. So either way is, com you know, completely works um, doing it that way. So, yeah, I, um, the one that I have in the membership, I have locks. And so you can put the little locks over top, just use um, like, sticky tack or something, you know, to put them on there. And then you can take them off as you learn the different sounds. And then the word cards are going to be added when you teach um, that letter, the grapheme or the letter patterns. And those are going to be the anchor words that are on your chart. And so um, we'll talk about that here in a minute, the anchor words. But um, so there's no specific order for the way that you need to teach according to like the science of reading. So you can go ahead and do you know, whatever your district is doing. So um, with the U-Fly, you'll have your scope and sequence of what you um, want to teach. And so um, any scope and sequence will work. And you just kind of um, will go through the sounds that you're learning on there. So um, something to think about, though, like if you are doing your vowels, like if you don't have a scope and sequence and you're just kind of on your own or whatever, you don't want to teach like two two letters that are close together like on the vowel valley so if you have like long e and short i they're gonna sound a lot alike e i or what their mouth is doing i should say what their mouth is doing and so you want to um not them so you wouldn't want to start with like long e and then go down and then go back up does that make sense you kind yeah. of want to do different ones that aren't so similar. So then they can really see the mouth is different and um, the sounds that they're making are different. It's kind of like when students mess up um, like short E and, and short I even a lot, right? If, eh, they're, they're very close on that vowel valley. And so you just wanna make sure you're not teaching those like together, like at the same time, so. Um, and then we talked a little bit about this. Just make sure when you're doing the sound, when you are doing the sounds to talk about what is happening. Yes. With their mouth and their tongue and their lips and their teeth. And, you know, your, your language, it may not, it may not be perfect, but getting those kids to like really think about what, what it's doing, what, what their mouth is doing, it's going to help them to, um, to make those sounds correctly. So, which, you know, is going to be important when they're reading and when they're writing to get those sounds the way they are. And we said well, you can they can use um, mirrors if you have the little mirrors where they can look at themselves um, to do that. Um, and then on the sound wall, like the consonant ones, um, they're typically are articulated the same way. We, we talked about this with the voiced and the unvoiced. So the p and the b are made the exact same way by putting our lips together. But the p is unvoiced and the b is voiced. And then again, they can put their fingers on their throat to feel those vibrations. And then um, the anchor words. Okay, so this is kind of what we were talking about. So with the anchor words, um, with your sound wall and vowel valley, I would not put, a, well, I mean, you could, I guess, 
you could put up the anchor words and put sticky notes or locks over them, but I would just add those as you go. So, um, so like in kindergarten, you're not going to be teaching all of these long E, right? You're not going to be teaching, you know, EY, um, and you're not probably e, an EI. You might do, um, you'll have like me with that open syllable. Um, you may do T or EA at the end of the year and EE at the end of the year, maybe Y, but you're not going to have, you're not going to be teaching all of those E sounds in kindergarten. So you're just going to be adding the ones that you do um, as you're teaching them. And then in first grade, um, you know, same thing. So in first grade, you probably will go through all of those, um, but it, it, it lost, some of them will be towards the end of the school year. Um, yeah, so kindergarten, maybe just the very basic, and then you just add those anchor words as you teach. Sorry, I'm like, my throat, my, my, I've had a sore throat the past couple of days too, so. Drink my water. Okay. All right, and then for review and practice. So, um, you want to make sure you are touching base with that sound wall every day. Um, and then mantras, it kind of sounds like you are doing that with your students, you know, just talking about the different sounds that you've learned and going through. And again, just reinforcing those mouth positions, what the letter names are called, the spelling patterns that they have. Um, and for practicing, you could do some little um, sound games with them. So for example, you do like, you say, oh, what two sounds are made when I put my top teeth on my bottom lip? And so you got and right? So getting them to really think, okay, what are those two sounds that I have? Um, so then they can make the sound. You can then, you know, well, what letters are those? Um, if you've taught, if you've taught those uh, graphemes yet. So um, things like, uh, how do I spell v at the end of a word? Well, a word is never going to end just in the letter V, right? Mm -hmm. So when you hear that v at the end, what are you going to need to add to it? And so getting them to kind of talk through those things. And you're going to have an E at the end. So it's going to be V-E. Um, talking about the voiced and unvoiced. Okay, so which one is voiced? The S or the Z. And then having them practice and figuring that out. Um, and then what sound do you hear at the end of these words? And you would, you know, you could um, you could even have cards with the, the words if you wanted. Um, with mm -hmm. the right with the writing of the word so has was is so they realize that there's a lot of words out there that has that z sound at the end but it's not a z it's going to be an s so uh you'll just just for practice kind of trying to come up with things like you know things like that to be able to um, get the kids really thinking about those sounds because that'll go over to the writing and reading and the writing so and then creating independence as you go through the year um, and, you know, thinking about writing, you know, a student, if they're trying to write the word paid and, you know, they write and then they're like, oh, wait, A, and then they can look at that sound wall and be like, oh, the long A, what are my options here? Like what, you know, what patterns have we learned? What can I, what could fit into that spot? And then they could look at that um, sound wall and, and be able to, you know, try to figure that out. So, all right. So that was it with that part. So are there, do you guys have any other questions about anything right now? No, I know it's a lot. And, um, mantra sounds like you're really doing a good job with that. So you'll, you'll get it. I know it's awkward <laughs> when you haven't done it. It's just awkward. <laughs> and it's like, you're getting used to it, but you're, you're trying to teach the kids to use it. And yeah but you'll get there. So in the membership, I did want to show you. So the resources, I do have the sound wall and the Val Valley. Um, and so here I need to check these small cards then, right? Yeah, they're not. Okay. Something's wrong there. Okay. So I will check those and see why those aren't um, working correctly. And then also, um, I love this resource. I don't know if you guys have seen this. There's a phoneme grapheme slideshow. So under the SOAR resources, when you're in the membership, and I can go into the membership too if you want me to, um, there's going to be different resources. And so here we have this phoneme grapheme PowerPoint. Oh, okay. So we're in the SOAR club. So over here under SOAR resources, if you click this arrow, it's going to come up in this phoneme grapheme 
um, PowerPoint slideshow. When you're doing the letters, uh, download this real quick. I love that, this. Those stuff is really, that stuff's really good. Oh, well, good. I think it will be really good anyways. Yeah. Oh, it's going to take forever to download, of course. Um, all right. It's downloading, but it's um, a PowerPoint with all of the letters. And then also I have all the long vowels, the digraphs, the diphthongs, everything. And it's going to show the, um, it's going to show the real mouth picture. And, um, and then you can go through the PowerPoint and it's got pictures for the sounds and let me, it's just easier to show. It's almost done. Oh, now I gotta make sure. Okay, now you're not gonna be able to see this. Okay. <laughs> I gotta get out of this again. And <sighs> nope. Nope. Uh -oh. Window. Oh, here we go. Okay. Okay. So it looks like this. And when you go into slideshow mode. Um, let me see if this will work. Slideshow from start. Okay. Yep. Okay. So these are just directions, but you can go to any letter. So like if you are doing the letter D, you could click on it and then, um, you will click through and you can talk with your students about what their mouth is doing. D -d and then you have, um, your anchor word and then you would D is D and you would talk about that and say that together. And then you have your sound D and then you would go through like the words of the doll, the dig, the doctor and getting them to hear that first sound and all of these. And then you can say it. So you'd be like, um, for say it, you would say the letter. Okay. So you'd say D, D. Oh no, sorry. You'd say the sound D, D, doll. And then the, the, dig, the, the, doctor, the, the, dress. Is that in uh, view mode? Is that in uh, edit mode? This is in slideshow mode. Okay, because I, I, I downloaded those and we did it with the letter O. Uh -huh. But it, it showed it all at one time. It didn't do like it would just do a one, a D, and then. D and then the picture. It like it showed it all at one time. So I don't know if I needed to put it in edit mode and then click it or put it in slideshow mode. Slideshow yeah. mode showed the whole thing. Really? Uh-huh. For O? For the letter O? Uh-huh. Okay. Um, I don't know if I, that, that's what I'm saying. I don't know if I need to put it in edit mode where once you click the different slide, it'll go just one letter, dot, 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 one the letter, dot, 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 the picture. Oh, okay. Hmm. Yeah, it should work in slideshow mode. And then, um, unless that, hmm, unless that slide was messed up for some reason. And then here, um, you're going to have a sound sort, and then there's a paper copy for the students to be able to do. And so then you can go through and <clears throat> d drag in. Get down. <laughs> My sister-in-law just brought me some pizza and the dog's trying to get it. <laughs> um, so d dragon, you know, is, does that have the d? And then they would put it on their, um, they'd have like a cut and paste for the letter D, which is in there. So, and then, um, and down in the left hand corner, it does tell what the picture is for the teacher, if you're not sure. So we've got pocket. Oh, nope, that doesn't start with d. And so they would go through the sort. And then um, when you're done, you can go back and then, um, you know, it's ready for the next time. Let me check out O real quick to make sure. So, ah, uh, O spells, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, olive. You're, so you're saying these were like this, like it was All just the one way. Time. Yeah. And I was it like, was okay, it. say it. I kept asking them, okay, first I did the, what letter is this? Lowercase O. What sound? Uh, mm -hmm. And I let him say ostrich because it showed the whole thing. I probably have it in the wrong mode. I'm okay. Gonna say, 
All right, try slideshow mode, yeah, and see if that works. Okay. So, all right, let's get out so of here. So to say it, they're doing the ah, ah, ostrich and ah, ah, olive. Yes. Yep. Okay. Okay. Okay, now I don't know how to get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> it's like we've all tied online. We know the trouble. <laughs> Uh, and the sort, the sort can be printed off for them to do. Yes. So the sort is a different file. It's oh, a PDF, okay. it's a PDF file. Oh, there we go. Okay. Okay. Yeah, it's a PDF file, and so um, where is it? Right here. So when you go into the downloads, um, it's going to have letters A to Z sound sorts, and so you can print, you can download those. Yeah, download those, download those right here. So. 